Alzheimer's disease is a neurodegenerative condition that impairs memory and cognitive functioning. It affects around 5.5 million Americans, most of them over the age of 65, and is the sixth leading cause of death in the U.S. Ultimately, this disease leads to damage to neurons in the cerebral cortex of the brain. The cerebral cortex, or cerebrum, is responsible for conscious thought, memory, and language. Early damage caused by Alzheimer's often occurs in the hippocampus, a structure in the cerebrum connected to memory and learning. Over time, damage to the cerebrum becomes more widespread and severe, and many of its neurons die. Because of the regions of the brain that are damaged, Alzheimer's is primarily characterized by dementia, a group of symptoms that include forgetfulness, depression, aggression, difficulty with language, and other changes in thought and behavior. Now that we understand the basics, let's zoom into the microanatomy and take a look at exactly how neurons are damaged by Alzheimer's disease. The primary function of neurons is to communicate with one another, passing electrical signals through complex networks throughout the nervous system. One of the ways Alzheimer's causes damage to the brain is by disrupting this communication. In brains with Alzheimer's, plaques of amyloid beta proteins form between neurons, impairing their ability to pass electrical signals across synapses from the axon of one neuron to the dendrites of the next. Another type of protein forms clusters inside neurons. Normally, tau proteins work to stabilize the microtubules inside healthy neurons, but in cases of Alzheimer's disease, they detach from the microtubules and stick together, forming tau clusters or tau tangles. This too impairs neurons' ability to pass on electrical signals. In a healthy brain, microglia act as the main immune defense for the central nervous system by destroying and ingesting pathogens. However, when someone has Alzheimer's disease, microglia stop clearing out the waste and toxins that build up around neurons. This includes the amyloid beta plaques, which can then continue to accumulate. Is there a cure for Alzheimer's? Not yet. But research is ongoing and there are certain types of treatment that can slow the disease's progress. Medications can be used to regulate levels of acetylcholine and glutamate, neurotransmitters that play a role in communication between particular types of neurons. In addition, some of the anxiety and depression caused by Alzheimer's can be managed with the help of antidepressants. Want to learn more about the anatomy, physiology, and pathology of the nervous system? Visit visiblebody.com slash websuite.